it has four legs, eyes, and a body built to carry with the ability to go wherever men can. It does give you a much more detailed view of the world, uh, you know, for the train that's nearby. Uh, all of those cameras work day or night. They're all uh, illuminated. Or... Same controller could be used to control a UAV. Uh, someone help me on what all the other oh, ones are. Sensor. Sensor. The UGV, sir, we use this with a Gus as well. Now I'm joined by Kevin Blankensporn. Sir, can you tell me exactly uh, what you do here and what we're looking at? Sure, Clayton. This is the Legged Squad support system, shortly known as LS3, and I'm the chief engineer on the LS3 project. And what you're basically looking at is a robotic pack mule. So the real goal for this uh, machine is to go where the dismounted warfighter goes uh, and to help carry their load. So how does it stand up to like mountains, rivers, different terrain? Yeah, that's a great question. And this is really why we developed this machine is so that it would be all terrain. Uh, so we've tested stream crossings. We've gone to the mountains uh, in 29 Palms, California. Uh, we've tested a lot of East Coast woods and mountains. So we really are trying to go to as many different terrains as we can uh, and push the mobility and the autonomy of the machine so it can keep up with the warfighter. So I'm really excited to actually see this thing in action. So uh, can you uh, gear up and give me a demo? Yeah, let's take it for a walk. All right, great, let's do it. So what can you tell me about the different functions and modes that uh, this machine has? Well, it's a good time to ask because we're in one of them right now. So this is a uh, leader follow mode. And this is kind of the bread and butter for how LS3 is really uh, going to operate. Uh, the idea is that, you know, you can see I'm, I'm not really distracted by the robot right now. We're able to have a conversation or I could be doing something else. Uh, but effectively, uh, the robot's following the stripes on my backpack uh, and using me as a guide for, for working through the terrain. If you get in a tight pinch, you can also directly control it with a joystick. Uh, and, and then we have a fully autonomous mode, which is go to waypoint. So you can tell the robot, uh, you know, go 100 meters that way, and the robot, without any driver or leader, uh, will autonomously work its way to that goal point. So how could this be effective uh, for Marines? Well, the main idea for Marines right now is as an offloading capability. Uh, so, you know, dismounted Marines typically carry around 100 pounds of, of, uh, of gear between body armor, backpack, food, water, ammo, uh, and the idea is for us to get that off the warfighter and really improve the warfighter's mobility, reduce injury rates, uh, and generally improve their, their capabilities. So, uh, you know, ideally you could take a lot of the equipment that the warfighters carry through, uh, through long foot patrols uh, and put it on the robot and have it carry the gear for them. It's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire.